I'm going to talk about uh, the effects of inequality, by which I mean income differences between rich and poor, um, and the effects on the social functioning of a society, uh, but also the implications for uh, moving, going through the transition uh, towards um, uh, carbon neutrality and um, sustainability. Um, I think people have really misunderstood inequality. People have always, I think, imagined that human well-being was really about living standards, a very economistic view of, of uh, um, human well-being. Um, I think that um, it's important to see uh, inequality as structuring social relationships between us. Um, it creates, uh, it increases the sense of superiority and inferiority, dominance and subordination. Um, so ranking us um, with an idea that we're ranked from best to worst um, with uh, strong implications for feelings of inferiority, inadequacy and so on at the bottom and superiority at the top. And that really changes relationships between us. The first slide uh, is really, it's an index we put together. Uh, we downloaded from international websites like WHO, uh, life expectancy in each country and um, from OECD, uh, children's maths and literacy scores, um, and all these things listed on the left, um, homicides, imprisonment, teenage birth rates, how much people feel they can trust others in society, um, obesity rates, uh, mental illness, and social mobility. They're all weighted equally. So where a country is, is its uh, sort of average performance on these things. Worse scores are higher in this graph. So the countries doing worst are the most unequal ones, um, the USA, Portugal, uh, UK, and the countries doing best are uh, the more equal ones, um, the Scandinavian countries, Japan. Uh, this data is now a little bit out of date. Um, we, we did it when we put it together when we were working on our um, book, The Spirit Level. Um, we were just looking at the countries with over 3 million population um, in the rich world. Um, for which at that time uh, the World Bank and UN Human Development Report had inequality figures. Um, that's why Hungary isn't there. People sometimes think that inequality is, is um, economically a, an advantage. They imagine that it spurs initiative and effort and creativity, innovation. Um, when we were trying to think how to test that, um, we thought looking at the number of patents per head. When you invent something, you might take out a legal patent on it. And this is patents per head of population. And you see there are fewer in more unequal countries. Um, the maths and literacy scores of children is, is lower, more people in prison, more people with mental Ill illness, um, lower social mobility, as I'm just about to show you. So in a, a lot of different ways, it looks as if countries waste their talent with bigger inequalities um, uh, and the populations become less creative.